Close this kind of trap. Do we want an, un, an uneasy combination of politics and sex? Or do we just want, like, flat out, I hope you die hatred? How about Trump? Now politics. Okay, politics and sex it is. I was leaning that way anyway. What's that? So, a little while back, but uh, in 1989, a um, bunch of students went to protest their government in a peaceful demonstration, and the government sent in tanks and killed about six to 8,000 of them. Um, and, uh, but back here in the West, we didn't hear about it much, because that all that, that took place in China. So, so what are we doing here at the time? Well, I think we were doing exactly what we're good at. We were watching TV. Watching TV. We were watching TV. Watching TV. In Tiananmen Square, I lost my baby there. My yellow robe in her blood-stained clothes. She was a short order pastry chef in a dim sum dive on the Yangtze sideway. She had shiny hair. She was the daughter of an engineer. Won't you shed a tear? She had shiny hair, she had perfect breasts, she had eyes, she had almond eyes, she had yellow thighs, she was the daughter of an engineer. So get out your pistols, get out your stones, get out your knives, cut them to the bone. They are the lackeys of the grocer's machine. They built the dark satanic mills that manufactured hell on earth. They bought the front row seats at Calvary. They are relevant to me. And I grieve for my sister. While we were watching TV. Just watching TV. Watching TV. Yeah, just watching TV. To our white bandana, that's a freedom now. She thought the Great Wall of China would come tumbling down. She was a student. Her father was an engineer. Won't you shed a tear for my yellow rose? My yellow rose and her bloodstained clothes. Her grandpa bought old Chiang Kai-shek. Had no good low-down dirty rats who used to order his troops to fire on the women and children. Imagine that. Imagine that. And in the spring of 48, Mao Zedong got quite irate. And he kicked that old dictator Chang out of the state of China. And Chiang Kai-shek came down in Formosa. And they on the island of Kamui and the shells went flying across the China they turned from Moza into a shoe factory called Taiwan. And she is different from Cro-Magnon Man. She's different from Anne Boleyn. She's different from the Rosenbergs and from the unknown Jew. She's different from the unknown Nicaragua. Half superstar, half victim. She's a victor star, conceptually new. From the Cancabono, she's different from the Aztec and from the Cherokee. She's everybody's sister. She's symbolic of our failure. She's the one in the 50 million who can help us to be free. Because she died on TV. And I grieve for my sister. Everybody. Yeah. 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 Roger Waters wrote that. Yeah. Yeah.